sometimes a grimace, and then all of a sudden it, it looks like a, a calm a smile in the midst of the fire. And looking at his leg turn of arm, I mean, that's perfection right there. As, I mean, it, he's graceful and beautiful, even though he's hurting so bad, his form is not breaking down. It really is a beautiful piece of artwork to watch him run. You can see the Pacers turning around, cheering him on, very much invested in this. You know, he'll see the finish line from quite a distance when he comes around the turn, and, and that's when, you know, his natural tendency to finish will come in into play. I don't know if there's enough room left to make up uh, what is the distance that he'll have to make up. And now he's about 27 seconds uh, over the projected finish time of, of, of uh, or the goal of two hours. Uh, but when he when he looks up and sees the finish, you have to think that there'll be a spring in his step. When we arrived here this morning, it was in the hopes of witnessing what was possible. What is possible when you take an idea of a barrier that has not been crossed before? What is possible if you just give it a try? And he now can see the finish line, and you saw them pointing, encouraging him, everyone alongside, urging him on. In a way, it's a victory lap because what he's achieved is extraordinary. Two years in the making on this journey. He started as three with Lelisa de Sisa and Zersine Tedese. And now Elliot Kipchoge with the Pacers still encouraging him to dig deep. And he's trying, he's trying to sprint here, which is incredible. You can see him go to his arms, pulling him up higher. I call him the sprint hands. This is as much of a sprint um, as anything right here that you'll see on the track. An extraordinary effort, the effort. He still looks so incredible. I can't, I can't even fathom right now. And holding the finish line tape is Joan Benoit Samuelson and Allison Felix. Both of them barrier breaker breakers in their own right. Yes. And there's the smile. And he's still jogging. <laughs> The intensity in his face in that sprint, I'll so never his, forget that. His final time is two hours and 24 seconds. Today we found out what else is possible. Yeah, the official world record, 202.57. Uh, this will not count for record purposes, but what it did do was show humans what is possible in this event. And uh, this man did something incredible that will, will last forever. Well, I'm inspired to go run today. I don't know about you guys, but...